Hello, this is Carl Rulin with Shoreline Products. This is an instructional video showing you how to assemble your speed control and motor to a headstock for your Miller lathe for our Shoreline Products mills and lathes. Um, this is how it comes assembled or how it comes packaged when you get it. And I'll take out the parts that you're going to use and lay them out here. Okay, these are the covers and these are the motor standoffs and screws. Some of these parts in this bag are used and some of them are not. Uh, we obviously don't use a tool post, so the parts we don't use, I'm going to set over here, set over here. And the parts we do use, I'll set over here. This one belt. Next we have our speed control and our, our motor. The motor comes and it should have two pieces of wood on the side like this to keep it from being damaged in shipping. Just take this guy out of here. Okay, you'll notice that the pulley is already on. It's going to have to come off in order to assemble the uh, the speed control. However, right now it's set up in the correct way with the set screw going into the flat on the shaft, which is very critical. Okay, take this off, loosen it just enough to get it off of there. Okay, and you'll notice that the, sh the shaft does have a flat on it, which is supposed to be lined up with the set screw that's in the pulley. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is line up the belt cover so that our power cable to the motor is in the correct position. This is going to be the top of the speed control in the belt cover. So I want to, you have numerous holes here that you can line it up with. What I want to do is have this lined up so that the power is coming out of the bottom of the, of the motor. And if I turn it so it's in that uh, orientation, you can see where it lines up with the two screw holes. Okay, from this point, I will then take the motor mounts and I will screw them in both of them in slightly okay to get them both lined up don't screw one in all the way and tighten it down and then the other get them both started and get them both aligned and they should screw in there might be a little bit of a burr on the plastic which if you screw it in the actual part will take care of trimming that out for you you may need a wrench either 9 16 or a adjustable to get it down and tight. Okay. Okay, these are only 832 threads, so obviously if you tighten it too much you will strip the threads out of the motor. Uh, I recommend that you basically just use finger torque on it. That's enough right there. Just enough to get it good and snug and no more than that. Don't over tighten them. Okay. Next thing is we're going to put our pulley back on. I'm going to locate this with the flat straight up and down on the shaft of the motor so I have a visual and I'm going to put the pulley on with the set screw straight up and down the larger part of the pulley in first and the smaller end sticking out anywhere in there is fine I'm not going to tighten it at this time now I'm going to put my belt in here and it just has to be in that general area Okay. next I'm going to put on the other half of the, the uh, belt cover and that fits right over like so. Okay, it should be aligned all the way around, which it is. Okay. Alright. Now I'm going to take the two long screws and the two nuts. If you look at the back side of the belt cover, let me show this one here. The back side of the belt cover has two uh, hex pockets where these nuts fit right in and they just sit in there. Put it in like so, and then hold your finger over it. 
and then we put it back upright like so, and you insert the screw in the top and go down until it starts to thread in. And just give it a couple of turns there, and we grab the other nut, and we do the same thing. We put it in the hex pocket on this side, hold it in place, bring the screw down, and we get this one started. Okay, once they're started, then a Phillips head screwdriver or a four-in-one that's got Phillips, and just finger tighten it. You don't have to go too tight on this at all. That's all you need right there. And the same with this one here. They're nice and snug, and we're good. We have good alignment here. Okay, everything in here is looking good. Okay, so the next part of this will be to um, attach this to the uh, headstock. So your headstock, it's easier if you put the head stock, the motor bracket onto the headstock first instead of putting it onto the motor and then trying to mount it on here. And that's because the uh, bracket right here has got one screw that's very close and hard to get to. Okay, we're going to take the motor bracket and install it on the headstock first. Okay, the bracket goes on like so with the back end flush with the back end of the headstock. Line it up and you'll see that the holes line up right away. And you just insert the screw again. Insert both screws and get them both going. Get them both threaded first before you tighten either one of them down. Just a good assembly process. Okay. Okay. Once it's once it's in this one, you have to use an Allen wrench to get it the rest of the way. Okay. These should be they should be tightened down pretty good. Again, you shouldn't have to really torque them. Fingers, pressure is about all you need. Thumb and finger is enough to get the proper torque on this. Okay, we're lined up. We're definitely behind the pulley. It's looking good. Okay, next we want to assemble the motor to the headstock. In order to do this, what I'm going to do is put the belt onto the small part of the pulley, and then I'm going to basically swing it into place. I'm going to put the radius part right here to the back side of the pulley. I'm going to pull the pulley over and put it onto the small end here. So I've got small end to small end just to get it in place. Okay. The belt cover is flush against the motor mount. It's behind the pulley so our location here is good. I'm going to hold it straight up and down with the motor straight up and down and just eyeball my screws. Screw holes. Okay, each of the each of the screws gets two washers on it. Put two washers on here. Okay, line it up by eye. Just get it started again. This way. Just get it started. Okay, that one's in. washers on this screw. Okay, wiggle the bracket a little bit if you need to to get the holes to line up with the slot. Again, just put it in finger tight. Okay, at this point you don't want to have it too tight. The washer should still move because you're going to have to adjust in and out. Okay, once it's located there, now what I'm going to do is go with the small uh, pulley size to the big pulley size on the on the headstock flip the belt over and just spin it into place okay and that has us aligned this way okay next I want to adjust my pulley and I want to make sure it's on the flat if I turn my headstock by hand I can see that the flat is still looking at me right now I want to shift the pulley out a little bit to align it straight and even with the pulley on the headstock. Okay, we'll tighten this guy up just a hair for right now for the alignment. So it's flush. Okay, that's flush. Okay, this guy right here. So I'm turning it. My flat is still pointing straight out this way. I'm going to push it up until it's almost to the top. Pull it back just a hair so it's not rubbing. 
right, there's no rub there. And now I'm going to put my set screw in to the large pulley and bring it down until I feel it hitting the flat. Okay, right there is pretty good. Okay, I have clearance, it's on the flat. I'm going to tighten it down tight right there. And then I'm going to bring the smaller end in to get just a little more torque on that. So I'm in good and tight. Okay, now the motor pulley is on tight. The alignment is good with the headstock pulley. Okay, it spins free. Nothing's rubbing anywhere. Okay, now what I'm going to do is get the proper tension on the belt. I'm going to loosen this guy up. Okay, and all I'm going to do is just push, pull this way on the headstock shaft, the, the spindle shaft, and push away with my fingers on the motor. That's enough uh, torque right there for the belt. You don't want to over torque it. Okay. And then I'm tightening these guys down. You want to tighten these guys down pretty tight. The washers will bow a little bit if you're if, when you tighten it. Not to worry. All right, that guy's good. And that guy's good. Okay. And I'm spinning it. It all looks good for alignment. The alignment looks good, no interference anywhere, so that's all looking good. Okay, now I'm going to put the speed control housing on top of the belt guards. Okay, the way this is assembled is you've got two tangs on either side of this that go into the holes on the ears. These ears are meant to flex open in order to install the, the two tangs. This will be a tight fit. Uh, it's, it's made that way so that this doesn't come off once it's assembled. Basically, all you have to do is start one side. I start the side with the, uh, the cable in first into that hole. And then just spread the ears out a little bit. And it pops right in place. And there's your, your hinge right there. So our speed control is now popped into place. Okay, now we're going to put the last part of it together. This is our nut holder. It goes in the bottom here. Okay, it goes with the, the nut facing down and towards the front. You just put it inside and it fits right into this slot right here. Okay, and then we put a washer on our screw. Put the screw through the hole and basically eyeball it and screw it in. This doesn't have to be super tight. All it's doing is holding this in place for when it's running. Okay, and just go snug, and we're good to go. Everything still moves freely. There's no interference fit anywhere. Power cables are both coming down out of the motor and out of the control, and you're set to go. And this is the same setup, whether it's a mill or a lathe. It's much easier to take the headstock off of the machine and do all of your assembly on the table like this, and then just put it back on your machine. Put the keyway in place, put it onto the machine, and lock it in place, either on your, your Z-axis or on your, on your lathe bed. So that's it. Thank you very much.